Hello everyone, welcome back to Artist Archives. My name is Nikki, I am an actress, a writer and an academic and this week I'm going to take you along in some moments in the life. I'm currently getting ready. Um, I am helping someone out. Basically I am a showreel scene partner today which would be great. So if you don't know what that is, basically there's these companies that you can um, hire to film a scene for you that you can use for your showreel as an actor and then they will work with external actors to the company to come in and be the showreel scene partner. So let's say you hire them to write a duologue scene, so two people talking, um, you're paying them for that but then they but then they will get in another actor to play your scene partner. So I'm doing this. So I met the woman who I'm going to be acting with last week week and she's really lovely we got along very well um so i think that'll be good and obviously the great thing about that is that if you come on board with it um you get scenes yourself for your own showreel so i'm looking forward to that i'm playing a police officer today um which i have played before so my first ever tv role was a police officer on eastenders so yeah i'm excited for that that was definitely one of my selling points when I emailed them and was like let me know if you need other actors so yeah I'll take you along I need to dress up figure out well I know the bottom half but I haven't decided which t-shirt that I want to wear um so yeah we'll check in but I'll also take you along a few other moments in the life also happy national eating disorders awareness week that is this week and I'm thinking I might do like a little short video per day even on my like other personal social medias and just yeah yeah like spread the awareness for the week so happy national eating disorders awareness week and yeah cool let's get ready going for a bun because bun feels very police officer e you know so we're gonna clip everything and all that good stuff so yeah. Steal your idea. Oh yeah, please. Okay. Yes. Behind, the behind, behind the scenes. Behind the scenes. Looking so trendy. Being so professional. Yeah. Yeah. We are back home. It's been a full day. It's been a gorgeous day. And I just want to say, God is so good. Like, I loved today. Finally found the bus stop. It's that annoying thing where it's technically not on the road. It says it's on, it's on the road, adjacent to it, or on the road coming off the corner. So like, the road I thought it was is behind me. And I'm not even at the bus stop yet. It's ridiculous. London. Morning. It's a Wednesday. I'm sat here with, I cut up some lemon and ginger with some hot water, just cause, you know. Um, and it's a whole new day. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I'm actually about to jump onto an online meeting um, and we've got a lot of stuff to get done today so I'll catch you up on it um, in general um, I've been thinking about how as a freelancer there is like there's you could be doing something all the time you know there's so much just like this never-ending list of things to do like you could if anyone else watching is freelance comment below do you do you feel that do you also feel like there could be a never-ending list of things for you to do hmm. um 
but yeah the film yesterday was really interesting it was called um i don't need adult conversation love that title and it was just like so now i've seen it i can tell you more about what it was about it was about the darker side to motherhood and it really made me think and it was very affecting and they packed so much into a short film it was actually so impressive um so yeah keep an eye out for it i'm sure it'll be going and screening at other places um so yeah keep an eye out for it and i'm so glad that i went yesterday i was so tired at the end of the day like i didn't stay long for the whole like chats afterwards but i did meet some um lovely people i met the um the person who did all the sound design for the film we had a nice long chat and then i also met um a a film director and writer um an actor um, so that was lovely and then obviously my friend who um, it was her production and oh my gosh also she's such a good you know how people there's like a skill to being a good host right because I didn't know the other people there but she did she'd invited them um, but she was so good at the whole like let me introduce you to this person so I never felt like I was by myself so you know some people are just really good at that like let me get you a drink let me invite you to come and chat to this person and they just do like a great introduction it's just like skills you know anyway online meeting time maybe send them to me because i'll probably format them in a way oh hello would you like some life updates okay so number one I have an audition today, later on in the day. It's an online one. Um, so yeah, I'll take you along doing some prep for that. We've got, what's the time now? Um, yeah, a couple of hours until the audition, just under two hours, so. Just under a couple of hours until the audition, so. Yep, and then the second thing is, I signed up for this workshop that looked really good. It's in viewpoints, which is a, a, a technique that gets taught in a lot of drama schools and you might know of it. But I basically, I've always heard of it, but I can't remember if I've actually specifically studied it. Now it might be I get there and I'm like, oh yeah, viewpoints. But I feel like I haven't and I've always been like interested in it. So anyway, I signed up for it and then they said that it was all full, there was no spaces to, but to put myself on the waiting list. And I got a message today saying that there's space. So tomorrow I will be at that workshop and then on Friday I'm on another workshop, which is so exciting. It's so exciting. So I feel like I have a lot to show you this week, which is fun. Like obviously we did the um the Cheryl shooting did you hear how I said that? The show reel shooting scene on Monday. Uh, film screening, audition today, workshops, very exciting. So, um, yeah, 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 and the workshop on Friday, I'll tell you a bit more about it later, but it is a very, very exciting event. So, yes, right now I'm trying to call my mum because we're going to do a prayer call and then I'm going to go get ready for the audition. I don't feel nervous about this audition at all. Like, usually I feel nervous. Sometimes I feel nervous, but I don't feel... I think it's because it's online. I'm not nervous at all, which is nice. Um, and sometimes those are the ones where the result is just fantastic because you're not nervous. Um, so, yeah, I will update you on how it is. I'll probably talk to you when I'm setting up and stuff. So, yeah, exciting. Oh, also, I have a new client for my monologue writing service and i was just messaging him so oh she picked up hello oh hello sorry, sorry calling me for time bro i oh, know sorry we just finished the audition it was it was really quick it took 10 minutes i ended up setting up here this is the second time in one week i've done like a corporate energy a corporate outfit so obviously monday with a police officer and then with the character for today and then with the character for today, so I'm wearing the same trousers as I wore on Monday. And what's so funny is that like both, what's so funny is that I'm just realizing like both of these, the top and the trousers are not originally mine. Like you, you know that this is not my natural fashion sense. I'm not a corporate girly. I'm not a corporate girly. Um, this was my housemate who ironically 
I'm not gonna say too much. Okay, I'm not even gonna say that thing. But anyway, so this was my old housemate's, but I really liked it. So when she was giving it away, I took it. And then these trousers are actually from a director from a show that I did, and there were costume options, but then the whole world went into lockdown and then I just didn't see her. Um, so I still have them, but I thought, oh, they, they would be really useful um, for upcoming auditions. And they have been, as you've seen, two in one week. They're so comfortable. Like they're such a perfect fit and really nice and navy. So. Yeah, so we finished that audition now and I'm pretty free until I think 7 p.m. I have a, um, a spotlight meeting, like a spotlight online workshop. It's called Demystifying Finances for Actors. I think that's what it's called. But yeah, it's all about finances and acting. And I always love learning. So especially when you get a free workshop. I mean, I pay for spotlight, but it feels free because they, they run these free workshops. So. I'm super excited to go to that. When I first went freelance, the way I was hitting up one of the first events I went to as a freelancer, I think the first event, like literally the day after I quit my job, um, the first event I went to was a spotlight industry event. Um, so this is another spotlight in industry event, which I'm very much looking forward to. And then I still need to call my mum for this prayer call because we didn't have it earlier. Um, yeah, we did the take three times. First time I brought my interpretation, which I went a little bit cheerier. And he said he really loved it, but let's go like more serious. And I did a more serious one. And then I think I may have gone too serious. And then he was like, just to indulge me, let's split the difference. Let's do one more. Did that one more. That felt pretty perfect, God willing. And um, he said he loved it as well. So yeah, cool. All right, let's put the living room back to how it was because I moved so many things. So I was trying the table here, then the, you know. Okay, I also changed out of this because as I said, I'm not a corporate girly. <laughs> Unless you want me to play a corporate girly, then I will happily play a corporate girly. I'm a lecturer. I can, I, I, you know, I can bring serious tones. But first, I am very quickly going to send over some sides. The Performing Arts Academy that I work at, the young people have a showcase coming up and we're going to be auditioning for them soon. So I'm just putting together sides from the script that I wrote so that they learn their lines and come for auditions. So I'm just going to send that over really quickly. Um... Cool, all right. But please bear with us. Um, there is gonna be, as I said, a presentation and you have also submitted some amazing questions in advance which have been kind of worked in. Okay, so review of the Spotlight Seminar. It was great. It was really helpful and I feel, yeah, really happy that I went. At the beginning, I was thinking, okay, I kind of know all this stuff, like it was very much basic and like, not bait, but as in more basic knowledge. So it, it was called Finance 101. So they did start with some very basic stuff, which I was thinking, okay, I already know. But you know, it's good to revisit some things sometimes. But then anyway, later on, they said a lot of things that were helpful. And they said one thing that really clarified something for me. And something that I really enjoyed was, again, you hear it, was again, acting as a business. And I know that you will have heard this, I'm sure if you're an actor, but like being your own business, so huge and i've always you know i've really liked that phrase and i think there was a period of time where i was really sort of um what's the word applying it in my brain metabolizing it in my brain but it was such a good reminder because it really just hit something in me where i'm just seeing things differently as a business owner and it was really great and funny enough let me show this i'm currently reading this book which Again, when I read the chapter titles, I was thinking, oh, this feels kind of basic. And I had this thought where immediately as I thought this is kind of basic, I thought, well, I can read it for my students and then I can pass on some of this, which I really enjoyed that I had that thought. I was like, that's actually quite sweet. You were like, I don't know if I need this, but I'll read it so I can impart some more knowledge for my students. Anyway, um, but now it makes me really excited to go back and read this. I was already excited, but then I'd seen the chapter titles and I was thinking, okay, it's kind of like, I know this stuff. But after that seminar and after that phrase again, after this thinking about being your own business, I'm even more excited to go back, um, to go and read this um, with a fully open mind. Um, see, I've seen this book for so long and wanted to get it for so long and yeah. <laughs>
are partway through the Bryony Kimmings workshop for a lunch break. I don't even think I said it was Bryony Kimmings, but it is, and she's an incredible um, theatre maker. And the topic, you actually probably can't see it very well, but the topic is making autobiographical theatre, which is something I love. And, ooh. okay, cool, cross it. Um, and also, it's happening in Special Halls in Croydon. Super loud. Um, but yeah, we're literally on a quick lunch break. I'm starving today, so I'm off to go and get some more food.